I don't understand guys, I don't understand. Uh, guys, I don't understand what's going on on TikTok right now. I don't understand what this new trend is. I feel like it's nothing but some kind of just sinister new trend that I'm seeing everywhere. People are alerting me to it as well. The videos are just very shocking and I don't get it and I don't understand why this is taking place and it really is just scary because the ignorance is so real but the common sense is completely lacking. This is nothing but digital racism that we are seeing here now. It really is just expanding and expanding and TikTok is really becoming a catalyst for this whole situation. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. I don't know what you guys are doing. If you haven't subscribed, I'm coming at you with content 24 seven during isolation as well. So subscribe, head over to my Instagram and let's just get straight into this because this is something that I don't understand. Like I feel like this is, a, for those of you who don't know, there's a trend going on right now in India, um, primarily where they have this kind of TikTok trend where they do blackface. And it really is bizarre to me because I don't know if the blackface is makeup or what is scary to me is that it seems to be a filter on the app. Now, of course, the app has a long history when it comes to racism, it's something that Vine didn't have. I don't think perhaps it could be the app's fault, but to be honest with you, when there's too many situations, it really becomes, it falls short when it comes to a coincidence. So I don't even know, but I find it to be, you know, weird that maybe allegedly the app is funneling the stuff, I don't understand. But if you look at the videos and if you actually look at what they're doing, it doesn't make any sense. It, I, I don't understand what this is about. Like... The girl's heart is black. I don't understand, guys. I... I don't understand guys, I don't understand. I don't understand what was going on. And we know that colorism is a rife issue in India. I literally just released an episode on it. So if you guys haven't, you know, please go to that podcast and discussing, you know, colorism in Arab and Asian, um, you know, that stratosphere. But you know, as I said to you, that fair cream to make your skin lighter is sold more in India than Coca-Cola. So you know that this is a major issue over there where they associate with one and the other, you know, kind of a colonial kind of after effect, unfortunately, because any effects that take place within your mind are the worst effects because those effects continue on afterwards. They're very hard to change um, because, you know, you carry on through generations and you see it in the media, it all like, gets exemplified and regurgitated. So it's unfortunately very sad and disgusting that we've seen colorism in such a rife way that has really taken place in India in so many ways where, you know, people who are fair skin, especially in Bollywood, are really given the limelight. Um, dark skinned Indians, you just don't really see them anywhere as much, and it really is just a shame. But we see this whole situation where they are, you know, start off very, very black. It doesn't look, doesn't even look like makeup, it looks like a filter. This is why I'm very confused. If you guys know more about it, then please enlighten me in the comments below. But this is that they're wearing a filter, talking about how their heart is black and bad. So they're already making that association, that negative association that, you know, is already in the English lexicon where you associate, associate something bad with black, and you know, it gets easy for people to associate that with skin color as well, that kind of bad association that people really make. And then you have these Indians, um, they then switch as if they turn a bit lighter to be a bit better. You have this kind of negative association. These are no different to the ads that you've seen about using fair cream. You see like ladies, you know, where they're be maybe upset or whatever, then they use fair cream and then they get lighter and they get better. It's this kind of association that we're now seeing on TikTok. And the saddest thing about this is, guys, is that we're seeing this from a new generation. We're seeing this from younger people. And this is what social media, these apps can do. They can really highlight a digital warfare of racism to be continued to be exonerated and regurgitated to younger people. This is what we're seeing. And I'm seeing it way too much on TikTok now. That's like the second video I've made on TikTok racism. I don't know how many more I'm gonna 
I would have to make. I don't, I don't understand. I feel like it just keeps on happening and it really is just a shame that, you know, somebody mentioned it a while ago to me, but now I'm, you know, being alerted to it and I'm seeing on Twitter, people are sending out their frustration. This is just nothing but sheer blackface that you're doing. I don't understand why you would do it. You know, the mess of the video is that you have a black heart and then everything gets better. So it's kind of this start off bad and then you get better and then you start off dark and then you get lighter. So you have this subconscious association that a lot of people are seeing. You know, TikTok is an app that so many people can see those videos within seconds. So everybody gets associated with this and this is how it happens and this is how it takes place. It is digital racism. And we're going to see a lot more of it, I would imagine, and I would expect to see more of it. Unfortunately, that's just how this world works. But it's something that I wanted to bring light to my channel ASAP because I especially have been talking about colorism for such a long time when it comes to this channel. I, I have, really have no words because I find it to be just, there's so many of these videos, there's just so many of them. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video, what are your thoughts when it comes to this TikTok absolute madness? I just can't believe we're waking up to see people doing this, it doesn't make any sense. Subscribe to the channel, click that button for daily and consistent content, head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.